Hey everybody, welcome back to part 12 of Resident Evil 3. The music kind of started playing differently after I picked up the vaccine, so I'm assuming the end is near, most likely. I'm not really sure what to expect, so I'm just gonna go with it. I think I can make shotgun shells. Yeah, I can. Okay. Um, take this. I can make more. Okay. Let's go make the vaccine, I guess. This is technically a vaccine, but it needs to be processed for distribution. Perhaps there is equipment for that purpose. I think the machine for that was here. Yeah, it's here. Oh, I missed this. Essay on Vaccine Synthesis To most efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant are required. The antigen produces an immune response, while the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses, leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base. Okay, that's good enough. Um, temperature control A, B, and C. I'm guessing it has to be 50-ish. No. There we go. Vaccine. Why is the vaccine purplish? I guess it's this way. We gotta escape somehow. W Jill, hold W. It's fucking funny how this is almost the exact same scene that was in Resident Evil 2 where Leon shot a canister. I guess I was a bit off with the boss fight, but still, almost.
Let's pick up everything. Oh boy, that's a lot of flame rounds. Explosive rounds. Gunpowder. And first aid. Let's store these quick. Aw, oh, I can't make any more ammo. Okay, so... I should probably take the rounds. That should be good. I think I'm ready. Wait, what's this? Disposal center. This facility is to be used for dissolution and disposal of test subjects used in NIST 2 experiments. The potent solvents used will ensure that any biological matter within the vat, living or dead, is completely dissolved and ready for disposal. Please follow all safety protocols when using the disposal center. Okay. Always confirm that no employees are in the chamber before beginning the dissolution process. Always use the regulated amount of solvent, regardless of the volume or mass being disposed of. If a test subject reacts violently, do not halt the disposal process. Leave the chamber filled for at least 12 hours, then check for complete dissolution before draining. Ooh. What in God's name is this place? What the hell? Oh. How do I take that? We're good to go. What is this? Nothing here. Let's go down. on life but I'm in this business to get paid so let's make a deal you go down there battle the nemesis and I'll recall it all and sell the combat dart put on a good show and maybe I don't need the vaccine agreed good Nikolai, you fucking bitch. Damn, boy. Come here. Whoa, what the fuck? Whoa. Shit. Fuck off. That's a lot of damage. No! Fuck. Come on, boy. Come here. What the? 
Jill, is that you? Carlos? You're okay. Let me spot for you. Good idea. What are you gonna spot? What? Oh my god, he's running away. Watch it, you've got company. I got company. Where is he? He's hiding behind Take There you are. Oh shit. No ammo. I should probably sh save my shotgun. Got a heal. No. No. Holy shit. Got some more incoming. Yeah, I know. Where? No. This is getting out of control. No! Oh, come on. Leave me alone. Oh. What's this? You running away again? Here comes some more. Number seven. I guess that's it. And smash time. Come down here, boy. I used up a lot of ammo. I have to get that vaccine back. Weapon spec sheet. Redacted project title. Ferromagnetic infantry used next generation railgun. Development codename Finger. Haha, <laughs> that's nice. Chief Developer, Nest 2 Lead Researcher, Cornell Garner. 
Ammo caliber 60 millimeter. Muzzle velocity 6,000 meters per second. Okay. Project objective, suppression of new bioweapons in case of outbreak. Additional notes. Extreme firepower provides the secondary benefit of completely obliterating the target, leaving no trace behind. This thing is totally rad. User feedback. This thing is totally rad. Tyrants out of line. Just give him the finger and problem solved. Pack the firepower we need. It would be even better if there was a way to control the output. Mobility may prove to be problematic in the field. Perhaps its platform could be refined. It requires multiple power sources. May be difficult to secure in practice. Could you consolidate to a single power source? Okay. That sounds promising. Alright, I need to heal myself. Also, for some reason, I didn't take the mag ammo. I have three heals, shotgun. I'm good. Probably. I'm going to store this. I probably don't need it. And take that. What else can I take? Take first aid. And let's go. Wait. Oh! Nice. Should be good. Those are power sources, but... It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You print money. I like money. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun! This would be worth millions. But, uh, you know how it is. City's about to explode, and you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! Jill! Go after Nikolai. He's got the vaccine. What about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I know you do. Look, just so you know, this is the last fucking time. Oh my god. What the? Let's, uh. Oh! There we go. Finger! Let's show him the finger. Hey, smile! Everything can be perfect. Really? Really? Oh, come on. Dude. I 
should have done that from the start. Let's get that one first. Oh, come on. Not now. Go ahead. I'm gonna put you right back on your ass. Oh no. Shit. Oh my god, that was so... Use the finger, bro. Here, have a finger. Are you dead yet? Now that was a spectacle. Hand grenade. Um, I think I didn't pick up everything. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, we gotta get the hell out of here, but I don't know how. Can I go this way, where I blasted through? Nope. Oh, it's here. The finger was very effective. I don't know which finger it was though. Was it the middle one? Do not touch. No info. Okay. You're not going to stop. Promised you this, didn't you? idea what you've just done no no don't care my client ordered me to reduce umbrella to drop 10 minutes until missile ah, impact the missile has launched and that is my cue goodbye Miss Valentine shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance <laughs> Him. 
why'd you do it? There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? I'll tell you. If you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work. Empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster making virus. It was greed. Human greed. I decided then and there the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes too. I would end them once and for all. Well, that's the end of Resident Evil 3. I thought Barry would make a comeback here, but I guess that's not gonna happen. Because in the original, Barry would save you from the impending doom. Anyway, was a decent game. I do not really like that there was so much action-y and uh, scripted sequences, but it was decent. Not something comparable to Resident Evil 2, but still. Even Resident Evil 3 Nemesis wasn't as good as the Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 1 games, but still. A bit disappointing at the end. The boss fights were kind of a cheese. I don't know. But, eh, it looks great with the new graphics and everything. The story is kind of flushed out a bit. It's tangled with Resident Evil 2, so you get the feel Raccoon City is actually the same place Resident Evil 2 and 3 took at. Because in the original games, you would do things, but they weren't connected as much, I guess. I, I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, it was a bit short. I thought there would be a clock tower, but yeah, there was only a clock tower courtyard, so whatever. The voice acting and the soundtrack were really great compared... <laughs> When I play the old games, I usually laugh when I hear the voice acting. It was so funny. It was good at that time, but currently it's so funny. Uh, I, I just don't know what to say. I do have a gripe with the size of the maps, because the city part was kind of shorter. But you didn't have as much running back and forth as you did in the old games, so I guess that's to help with new players just cope with it, because I guess people are not used to running that much around areas they've already explored, unless it's an MMO or something. Would have been nicer if it was a bit longer, but it was a good experience. I guess extra content would be just fodder and to fill in the gaps, and you can't really expect much from it, so it was fine. 
the dodging was horrendous. I fucking hate it. But I also suck at it so much. I usually get captured by zombies and that was annoying. But if there was no dodging, I guess it would be the same as Resident Evil 2. I would be more careful about engaging enemies. Because every time I go against an enemy, in my subconscious, I know I can dodge him, but I always fail. So that's something I would work on in the next remake they do. And I hope they do one. Because these are probably the best remakes that have been done so far by the same studio that made the original games. Anyway, I think that's enough from me. I'll see you in the next one. And that's it. Peace out. Thank you.